Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. Well, from stormy skies late this afternoon now to steamy conditions outside. Skies are mostly clear 75 and a dew point of 70 degrees. And in areas in Springfield that got the heavy rain, the south side, southwest side of town, a uh, very humid evening as a result of that rain and maybe some light patchy fog in a few spots. That goes for other areas too that saw rain this afternoon. Before we got the storms, we got the heat. Temperatures topping out in the middle and upper 90s. In fact, uh, several locations hitting 97, even 98 today in Rolla, 96 this afternoon in Springfield. Even though this has been a very hot summer so far, we still have yet to hit 100 degrees. In fact, it's been a long time since we've hit 100 degrees in Springfield, nearly four years. You have to go back to uh, 2014. Uh, this is the 12th longest stretch without 100 degree readings in Springfield on record. The longest stretch uh, ended in 1918 after almost nine years. And I think given the pattern that we've got this summer, I would not be surprised at all if we don't manage to sneak up to 100 degrees at some point. And we even have maybe a slight chance of doing it this week. On radar right now, things are quieting down after that batch of storms this afternoon. Uh, still some lingering shower activity across southern sections of Carroll County. Uh, you can see uh, near and south of Osage, everything drifting on off towards the southwest, moving away from Harrison here. You can see that shower activity, even a little bit of lightning uh, to the west of Kingston there, there in northwest Arkansas. Otherwise, again, conditions are quiet and should stay that way the rest of the night. The reason why we saw the focus for showers and thunderstorms shifting south today into southern Missouri, northern Arkansas is because we had some drier air moving in in the atmosphere, not necessarily at the surface. I know it's humid, up near Highway 54, but you go higher up in the atmosphere and it does dry out and that drier air will continue to filter toward the southwest. And this is going to be one of the things that will help to really cut our rain chances after some spotty showers and thunderstorms the last few afternoons. I think tomorrow it's going to be very tough to get any rain going. And that's even with a weak disturbance. Another one of these weak upper level storms moving into southeast Missouri and north central and northeast Arkansas. Uh, it looks like uh, another factor that's really going to cut down on rain chances, not only tomorrow, but Thursday as well, is going to be this dome of high pressure that will be moving in and moving overhead. And underneath that dome of high pressure, the air tends to sink. It also heats up. So we're really going to be cutting back our rain chances, and we're going to be looking at those afternoon highs continuing to edge a little bit higher. Overnight tonight, the rest of the night looks quiet, uh, mostly clear. Tomorrow looks like we'll have a mostly sunny day in most areas. If there is going to be an isolated shower or thunderstorm, I think the best chance for that will be in areas uh, like maybe Mount Home, Yellville, Salem, Arkansas, maybe north into Koshkanong and Thayer, possibly Alton and Oregon County. I think elsewhere it should stay dry. 73 for the low tonight. Tomorrow we're going to see afternoon highs in the middle and upper 90s again. In fact, I think here in Springfield we're likely going to be hitting 97 degrees Looks like 96 on Thursday, 96 again on Friday. Very isolated uh, showers both Wednesday and Thursday. A better chance for an isolated shower storm on Friday. That will spill over into the upcoming weekend. And then next week, our pattern should become a little bit more favorable for a front to move into the area. Uh, this would be toward Tuesday of next week. So we should see a better chance for showers and thunderstorms as a result. And that should also help to knock back some of this heat. Sounds good there, and we have some good news to share with the Viewers Club. We do, uh, and our winner comes from Wablo, Missouri. Uh, winner of $400, Leslie Carroll. Congratulations to him. We've reset our jackpot tonight. It is now back down to $100. Tonight's number is 238-502. All right, Jamie, thank you.